Welcome back everybody, how you doing tonight? So uh, we're gonna return to Magic's Origins. Not really, but you know, that's what they call it. Uh, it's like what, M16 I think it actually is? You know, when WotC apparently was like, uh, we're not gonna do any more core sets, and then we're gonna do this Origins thing, but it's, it's not really a core set. It's got reprints, and it's kinda like a core set, but it's not actually a core set. Yeah, it's course it. All right, anyways, let's check it out. There is a, this is a, a fat pack, back when they were still called fat packs, before uh, millennials start getting offended by it. <laughs> Might not have been millennials, I don't know. You know, don't call it fat pack, that's just rude. Should we call it not so skinny pack? Anyway, <laughs> these had nine boosters. The new, uh, uh, what do they call them now? Uh, bundles have 10 boosters. So this one's only got nine in it. But we'll see if there's anything good in those nine, shall we? So, I opened, oh, damaged things already. I uh, opened a box of this, and it was like the worst Origins box possible, I think. <laughs> it was terrible. So, hopefully this uh, fat pack does a lot better than that. Uh oh thieves, thieves, bloody thieves. All right. There's a poster in here of probably exactly what's on the top. Yeah, just a little baby Jason there throwing spells around, uh, and then Grandpa Jace overlooking him. Yes, yes. Come to the dark side, Jace. I can feel the hate growing in you. All right, anyway. Terrible impressions. <laughs> oh, terrible YouTube in general, but hey, that doesn't stop me. So these, I do like that you actually got the full printed out uh, set in here. Uh, these were huge for me when I was building decks when I was younger. Uh, I absolutely love these. I'm so disheartened that they don't do them in the new... The newer bundles, which sucks because I really miss those. I do like those. I still think to this day that those are the best way to build decks, to be able to go through and just kind of look at the cards and like, ideas pop into my head like, oh, I could do this with that card, or oh, I could break that card like this, you know, and come up with some stupid combo that my friends are going to never invite me back to Magic Night again for, you know. <laughs> so... That's okay, I don't have any friends anymore. I play Magic, so I don't, have a, I don't have the kitchen table experience these days, which kind of sucks. Hopefully, uh, hopefully that'll change. But all my friends that played Magic all moved to other states that I used to play kitchen table with. So in here we get our die. I uh, probably should have looked at the outside of the box told you what the contents are first. Uh, it's been a while since I've done one of these. All right, so you get contents. Player's Guide with Encyclopedia. That's the little book I just showed you. Magic Origins card box. That's the thing we're looking at. Nine Magic Origins booster packs, 80, ba 80 card basic land pack, spin down life counter, and two deck boxes. So this is 80 basic lands, no foils, no nothing special, because, you know, they were lame back then. So we're going to put that in there, and we're going to ignore that, because nobody cares about that. There we go, here's our little rules reference card. I only have about 70,000 of these just since I started back in November, because they're in everything. Anybody need one of those? Um, I got your echo, just let me know. So <laughs> Self-addressed stamped envelope, and I get you going. All right, so nine packs. We'll put our die over here somewhere. Oh, yeah. Should we do the roll like everybody else does? Uh, I guess 12. It's a one. There's two next to it. Does that count? All right, nine packs of Origins. Let's see if we get a Jace in one pack and a Foil Jace in another pack. That'd be nice. So <laughs> All right, I don't, there's no comments in here. There is a couple uncommons that are worth noting. Um, the Sphinx's tutelage, like a buck seventy-five, and the Zendikar's Royals, just under a buck fifty. So I guess we'll look for those too, just for the hell of it. All right, Tormented Thoughts, Blazing Hellhound, and Fiery Conclusion. None of those are the ones we're looking for. And then an Outland Colossus is our first rare with Renown Six. And then we got one of the little flip card thingers, thingy reminder thingers, thingies, whatever. Thopter. Thopter. Good old Thopters. I like Thopters. Ornithopters is still one of my favorite cards of all time. I love zero casting cost stuff. Ornithopters and Kabolds. <laughs> They're so awesome back in the day. Oh, God bonk. All right. One of these days, I like to get my hand on a bunch of Legends, Commons, and be able to rebuild Kabonk. <laughs> the whole deck I had all Kabolds and Ornithopters. World of Rogue, Totem Guide, Hearty Beast, Hearty Beast. He's Hearty Beast. Hearty Beast. And Undercity Troll. And Mana Gorger, Hydra. It's our next rare. Um, yeah, does anybody actually stack this guy's three for a 1 1 with Trample? 
Whenever a player casts a spell. Oh, whenever a, pl a player. Oh, I thought it was whenever you cast a spell. Okay, okay, that makes more sense. All right. Too bad that first spell is going to be a shock from your opponent that's going to kill him. Anyway, call of the moon. We got our first, uh, call of the full moon. We got our first uh, foil. Little shiny guy there. Right. Next up. Doo -doo -doo. So what's your best pull out of these? Hey, it makes us two of these. There we go. There's one of the uncommons we were looking for. Whole dollar seventy-five. Woo, we're moving on up. Um. <laughs> So uh, yeah, what, what's kind of, you know, what's the best uh, stuff you pull out of here? Oh, that Mana Gorge Hydra was actually like four bucks. So, Gnarl Root Trapper and Sigil Starfish. Alhammerit High Arbiter. High Arbiter. Alhammerit's archive is worth something, but I don't think Alhammerit himself is worth much. I don't see Alhammerit in here anywhere. Yeah, not on the price list. So. His, uh, his archives are worth something, but him himself is worthless. So, there you go. Is that a mythic? No, that's a rare here. And a land and an advertisement, because that's all they care to do is advertise for more product. When you're already opening product you just paid for, they want you to go buy more before you even get finished opening. They're like, oh, you just opened the first of those nine packs? Why don't you go buy some more real quick? Yep. Zendikar Incarnate. Foundry of the Consoles. Shaman of the Pack, and, oh, Pyromancer's Goggles for our first Mythic. Our first, oh, and a Foil Rare in the same pack. Look at that. Nice. Dark Petition. I think that one actually is worth something. Uh, let me see here. Take a look at the price list. Dark Petition Foil is like 12 bucks. Nice. So if you're going to get a Foil Rare, that's a decent one to get. The Pyromancer's Goggles, though, I don't think. Uh, oh, there it is. That's yeah, like a four seventy-five, four dollars seventy-five cents, four dollars no So, all right, that was a really good pack. So we got what, like sixteen dollars in cards in that pack. That was pretty nice. That's uh, about a third of what I paid for this. I think I paid like thirty-five, thirty-six for this uh, fat pack because I just bought it just the other day. Um, yeah, just wanted some other videos to get going up there. Consecrated by Blood, Ablate Massacre, Dwayne's Elite, Dwayne and the Rock Johnson's Elite, um, <laughs> Goblin Pile Driver. He is, uh, I think he was worth a couple bucks. Yep, two fifty. Two fifty. Two fifty. What did not never much name with two fifty? <laughs> Watch well, too many cartoons for an adult. Anyway, moving on. Swift Reckoning. Totem Guide Heart the Beast, uh, War Oracle, and Mage Ring Responder. Okay. Seven, 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 seven. Yeah, everything's seven. We get it. Okay. It's not worth anything, I don't think. <laughs> if it was worth seven dollars, then we'd care, but it's not. It's the only seven that's not related to that card. <laughs> War Horn. War Horn and... Four years ago. Anyway. Sylvan Messenger. Jesse and Thief. Is it Hesse and Thief or Jesse and Thief? And another Mythic. Nice. Woodland Bellower. Uh, I think he was actually maybe on the price list. Yep. A uh, $3 card. So another Mythic hit. And it's actually worth a couple bucks. So can't complain about that. We're still not paying for this thing quite yet. But we're about halfway there now. Well, we got a Jace when we're good. <laughs> I think that's about all we can get. Uh, Sky Snare Spider, Accolade of the Inferno, Fleshbag Marauder, another Goblin Pile Driver. Oh, wait. Yeah, it's the same card, right? Holy duplication. There's only nine packs, and we got two of the same rares. What is going on here? At least it's a decent one. It's not garbage fire. And an Oromancer. Uh, the full Oromancer might actually be worth a buck or two, because uh, I think Oromancer sees some play. And a swamp and another advertisement. And last pack. Is there going to be a Jason here? Come on. Tap him down. Tap him down. Yeah, I don't know what good that does. Um, I don't know. All these, all these different YouTubers have this different little good luck thing they do. And I'm like, uh, I can't think of one. <laughs> Major Ring Network. Chief of the Foundry. 
Under Siege Roll, and it's a red card, it's not adjacent. That's not good. It's an Ember Maw Hellion. Once again, Origins beats up my wallet, and I get very little out of it. <laughs> so let me see, what do we have? Uh, I don't think this one's on the price list, or at least I don't remember seeing it on there. Um, he's not far enough towards the top to make it worth anything. So, yeah. Most of the value in this set is all the uh, the mythics. There's not really a lot of rares worth anything, except for the Dark Petition, which we got in foil, so that was nice. And the Mana Gorger Hydra. Um, and the Pile Drivers with a few bucks, so. But yeah, I don't see this guy on there at all. But we got a couple of Pile Drivers, so there's what, what did I say they were? Four bucks, so there's like eight bucks there. Uh, and then I think that was four or five also. I don't think the Outland Colossus was on there, so. So yeah, we got what, eight plus five, so 13. That one was like 12. Um, on the tutelage was, so 14, 13, 27. And then what were these? These were five bucks and the Bellower was, I think four, three. All right, so eight bucks, yeah, so we, we came in a little under what we paid for it, but not as bad as the box I opened. The box I opened, I got like, I don't know, I think I paid like 110 or something for the box and got like 60 bucks of value or something. 70 bucks in value it was pretty bad. It was pretty awful. So, uh, did better than the box on the fat pack, which is kind of uh, funny. But <laughs> let me know what you guys think of this set. Uh, if, you, if you think this set's going to age well or you think it's uh, pretty much maxed out, I think it's running around 150, 120 a box now. Um, but like I said, the last box I opened, I paid 110 bucks for it, got it, got a good deal on it, I thought, and then opened it and was like, wow, that was not a good deal. <laughs> so unless you get a, a, a Jace or a foil Jace in the box, I don't think you're even going to break even at 110, let alone 120, which they're up to now. So let me know what you guys think of the set. And, uh, if you've pulled any good pulls out of these, have you opened an Origins box or Fat Pack and actually made money on it? Or? they all just kind of like this this is pretty much how that set went uh so let me know and uh hopefully we'll see you guys in the comments and maybe some other videos that are probably popping up there i'll check out a couple others uh, i did open up an icoria box the other night it was amazing open it up or uh open it up watch the video you can, i guess well you technically you're opening the video yeah but i digress um i'm talking in circles so you guys have a great night i really appreciate your time appreciate you watching you guys take care bye